the fashion for plastic just hit your pocket. An icon of throwaway indulgence will now cost five pence. I think it's good. I've, I've already cut back myself and trying to avoid paying the charge, so it's good, good for the wallet, good for the environment. I don't think it's right, to be honest. Really? I don't. Why? I just, I just feel that everyone shops and spends way too much money in London as it is, but paying five pence, if you're spending three, four hundred pounds on a week shop with your kids and your wife and everyone like that, God knows how many bags you're going to spend every week. It's not good. We buy for them, and they don't give you like, this one can be like a thank you. You buy for him, it's support for us, we give us thanks. I think it's pretty irrelevant really, you know, given the scale of global warming and you know all the cars and the roads and the coal burning power stations and all that stuff, you know, it's a drop in the ocean, isn't it really? And it's the exotic waters of our planet where you can find vast swirling islands of rubbish. England is the last to do something about it in the UK hoping to reduce the use of supermarket plastic bags by 80%. So the idea is, is that we encourage our customers to bring down their own packaging so that they don't take any new packaging with obviously the environmental benefits that you get from that. Catherine Conway set up the UK's first zero packaging shop. I think the studies show that it's 20 minutes that you hold onto the plastic bag that then takes a thousand years to degrade. So I think what we're trying to show is, is that we actually need to change attitudes and change behaviour so that people actually start consuming differently. The government's offering comes with a few major caveats. Paper bags are exempt, so are stores with fewer than 250 employees. And if you're buying meat, poultry, fish and a few other products, you'll still get your carry home friend for free. If carrier bag is going to be reduced, let's, let's do it properly, let's do it across the board and let's apply it to all bags and all retailers. A bag is a bag, so a bag from a smaller shop is the same as a carrier bag from a larger store. We can't say it's getting better, we think it's about the same. But Morgan Phillips knows the fight has only really just begun. So you've still got this colossal issue of packaging. Packaging is a huge problem. I mean, the plastic bags are essentially normally just another layer of packaging on top of overly packaged things already so um, yeah it's a step in the right direction I think if we can remove the amount of plastic bags that there are and then it helps people to really think about that issue and the waste issue. This tax is arguably totemic an attempt to better the excesses of consumerism the plastic bag though is far from consigned to the bin of history.